During the free death event, I decided it would be the perfect time to attempt hard mode Zuck, and on my second attempt, I managed to complete the flawless challenge to obtain that special cape. In this video, I'd like to cover what I did to get through this intense PVM challenge in an attempt to give you the edge to do the same. Whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and I'll be honest here, hard mode Zuck felt exactly like Jad back in the day. I wasn't sure if I was up to the challenge and the main thing stopping me from attempting it was fear of failure. I ended up asking a bunch of people how hard they found the challenge and I also asked for tips that would increase my odds of making it through. The main thing that I was worried about was Zuck himself having double HP and just hitting harder, but according to almost everyone I asked for tips, as long as you're using magic tank arm with anime dead, Zuck should be the least of your worries. Now, as I was using range for normal mode at the time, I didn't understand how this could be true, but actually, after killing Zuck with magic tank armor, in hard mode, I now understand. And so, unexpectedly, the first tip I have for you is to start using magic and get yourself a set of magic tank armor, and if you haven't already, unlock the anime dead spell by doing the City of Sentistan quest. Now, it doesn't have to be Crypt Bloom, you can use Sea Singers, but Crypt Bloom simply is a better armor set. Three other things that make a flawless run far more accessible is having access to the Greater Chain ability, a staff or offhand switch with the Karoming 4 perk, especially useful for the first challenge, and of course, the regular normal mode magic cape to use omni power at 60% adrenaline. While not required, having access to greater concentrated blast is also fantastic if you're using magic. When going through the waves in both hard mode and normal mode, you should be using the Tokozo for 10% increased damage. You should also be using an obsidian helmet, in this case the mage one, because it gives you 9% damage reduction from all creatures during the waves, and it also gives you 10% more accuracy. You can overcharge the damage reduction effect by going to the fight cauldron and offering up Tokol. This can be stacked up to one hour of extra damage reduction. Before going into the fight, sip every potion you're going to be using, including prey renewals, overloads, and weapon poison plus plus plus. Also be sure to overload on all incense sticks you're going to be using, probably quadums and lantadimes, and stack them to one hour of duration. Finally, be sure to stack two powders of penance for a full hour of prey points restoration based on 2.5% of the damage you take. Thanks to this item, I was able to do my run while only using about 5.5 flasks of Super Restore. This means you'll have more inventory space for hard needed food. For my flawless hard mode Zuck run, I stuck to this rock for pretty much all of the waves with some exceptions for Jads. The reason I use this rock is because you're able to safe spot various enemies from all kinds of sides. You just have to move around a little bit depending on the wave. Now you won't be able to use this safe spot rock at all times because you're going to have to move around as Zuck will launch a wall of fire at you dealing typeless damage. This will easily kill you if you stand too long in it. You should turn on game sounds and every time you hear this... Fall and burn to ash. Flames consume you. You will know a wall of fire is coming your way, and then I suggest running towards one direction, not zigzagging, so either diagonally or horizontally, and just getting out of wherever you were standing, and afterwards going back to your safe spot. Now the waves themselves are actually pretty tough, and you might be using a lot of food, but the one ability that helped me out a ton is Devotion. Using Devotion against the creatures that are hitting you the most is just essential because it reduces all damage to one for a period of time. What also really helped me save food is taking down these rangers first if they were able to attack me from my safe spot. These have a grounded ability where they get more and more damage the longer they stand still in one location. If one of these rangers has been standing in a corner, for example in wave 13, and has a bunch of grounded stacks, you do not want to take any damage and waste your food. Use the devotion ability, get close, aggro the ranger, move away or surge away, get it to move, make it weaker, and then take it down. For some reason, they sometimes don't lose their stacks straight away, which is why you see me using my shield here. Since this is absolutely an endurance test, when looking to save food for harder waves like wave 8, 12, and 13, be sure to use Soul Split to your advantage. There are many ways of doing this, like running around and kiting the birds or little melee golems, but you can also simply Soul Split the big melee guys as they're very easy to save spot. You can use other creatures to block them, which are far weaker, like the little golems, and they're very easy to get stuck behind a rock, allowing you to easily soul split up your health. And if you aren't already, you should absolutely be using a Vampirism Aura here because it heals you so much throughout the entirety of this fight. If it's your first run, it might be a good idea to extend it using Vizwax, as your run might be longer than one hour. Before each challenge wave, so waves 4, 9, and 14, you're going to experience pretty much the same wave, where you have to take down three special minions. 
the one that you stun being the golem, the one you use thresholds on being the ranger, and the mage which you have to stand in close proximity of. If you kill all three special minions, you're able to use the special action button, but I don't suggest using this before you've actually sunshined so that you can actually build on the minions, then make Zuck vulnerable, and then do a lot of damage against him. Now, unless your damage is godlike, I don't actually suggest trying to one-cycle Zuck here. Not for your flawless run, anyway. It doesn't matter if you two-cycle Zuck, and you can take it slow. The only problem is you might need to use some more food if you struggle with these uh, waves before the challenges themselves. What I tried to do is get Zuck down by about 90,000 HP, then the second time around, build up, use my son, finish him off with some basics, maybe a threshold here and there, and then get ready for the challenge wave, being wave 5. This is the challenge where we're going to be utilizing the invention dummy and the Karoming 4 perk on a staff to make it a piece of cake. The goal here is to be inside sunshine while doing the challenge, placing an invention dummy, using greater chain on that dummy and then using omni power because we have 60 percent adrenaline in that zuck cape and just blowing up the minions like that and then all you need to do is simply finish them off and then get back to your safe spot this is why i recommended to get greater chain at the start of this video it makes this challenge an actual piece of cake given that you have a staff or switch with karoming 4. on wave 9 before the challenge wave on wave 10 you want to do the exact same thing Bring Zuck down a large portion of his health, but don't fully phase him yet. Then do the entire thing again, click the special action button, finish him off, and start the challenge with high adrenaline and sunshine ready to go. And that's going to make it far easier to do the challenges. If done correctly, you should enter the second challenge with a sunshine and high adrenaline, which means you'll be able to dump thresholds and ultimate abilities on the melee guy, which is how you take him down. High hits are the ones you want. Don't use bleeds. They're a waste of your time. High hits only. If you're out of thresholds, you can always use the Guffex Staff EOF spec, by the way, if you happen to have that with you. For the final challenge, you're going to want to do the same thing, except... This time you want to keep your adrenaline at 100%, you don't need sunshine because you're going to need your shield and the barricade ability. With the turtling 2 perk you should be fine, you just want to resonance the first hit of these minions, then use barricade and that's the challenge completed given that you have the turtling 2 perk on your shield. It's also worth noting you can build for adrenaline for the triple jad phase right after this one. Now given that you're using the northwestern safe spot, you should be fine for the single jad and double jad waves, even with the fire lines or firewalls that Zuck throws at you. In fact, the jads are a blessing as you can use them to soul spit up your health without needing to use any food. Just keep an eye on their attacks, Pray a flick accordingly, and you should be fine. Right after wave 15, I do suggest you use this exact same safe spot for the triple jad wave, as it's going to be a little bit confusing to pray a flick against three jads at once if you have firewalls getting thrown at you, which can blur your vision a little bit. Be sure to use vulnerability bombs to take down the first jad more quickly, because it can be a little bit annoying depending on where the firewall comes from. When killing the third jad, be sure to keep your adrenaline high, as you're going to want to start the fight with Harakan at 100% adrenaline. The the Harakan fight is really similar to normal mode, except that Harakan has double health, throws bombs at you constantly, and Zuck can still throw his firewall attack at you during this phase. What it comes down to is trying to do as much damage as you can inside your sunshine while moving around to avoid attack. I think it's worth doing this challenge or Harakan slowly and more safely because you won't need any food if you do it that way. If you get hit by the firewall or the other bomb attacks, your adrenaline is going to get drained, you're going to have to eat food to keep your health high, and you might end up panicking. This is why 2, 3, 4, or even 5 cycling Harakan in hard mode isn't a big deal as long as you got that magic tank armor with anime dead, and you soul split on the tentacles once Harakan dives beneath the surface of the lava. The only food you're going to be needing is when you get hit by the bombs or the firewalls. Zuck himself is largely the same as normal mode, and as you've already gotten a flawless normal mode run, this shouldn't be a big deal apart from Mr. Zuck having double health. Now thanks to Crit Bloom and Anime Dead, or Magic Tank Karma Anime Dead, you should be able to eat a ton of hits, and you can avoid having to eat food by flicking on your soul split every now and then, grabbing a resonance, and by soul splitting during the pizza phase, which is exactly the same as normal mode, funnily enough. The only new thing in hard mode is the final pillar phase. In this phase, you should be running around constantly and hitting this pillar in the middle. 
always keep your health high no matter what as the bombs that are being thrown at you can deal some serious damage. You have to bring this pillar down to 0 HP 5 different times, 4 of which you actually need to avoid an attack that can easily kill you. These special attacks are indicated by message on your screen and Zuck performing a channeling animation. You avoid these attacks by using the resonance ability but alternatively if resonance is on cooldown because your DPS is good enough you can also use barricade. When using barricade be sure to stand still for a few seconds as you can recharge your run energy that way. In my first flawless run I forgot to bring along an energy restoring item so I ran out of run energy. You can avoid this by bringing along an explorer's ring or a super energy potion which is probably the better option. In hard mode there's only one checkpoint and that checkpoint is just before Zuck after having killed Harakon. If you end up dying at Zuck you'll be able to use that checkpoint to finish off the kill however it will not be a flawless run. If you want to avoid the need of energy potions here you can use the saltwater bath at the Anachronia spa. This is only really relevant if you've died at Zuck because the actual buff only lasts up to like 23 minutes if you keep re-rolling it. So yeah not even near enough time for the entire fight. And it goes with Without saying, if you died at Zuck, simply restock on your supplies and finish him off and basically use Zuck himself as a bit of practice. With that being said, we've come to the end of this video. I hope this video helps you guys get your flawless run and your cape. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.